Tucks it. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> So we're making footers here because we're using sea purling to frame this out and sea purling is if I just put it directly in the ground it's not gonna last long, it's gonna rust away. So we're gonna we're gonna anchor them to these little concrete footers and to get them um, the same height all the way down so that our legs to our lean to are all the same length. I put a string across here and just set the level on there and, and got it eyeball level with the with it. I mean it's kind of hard to get it perfect because the string sags but it's pretty well level and then we're setting these tubes at the same height as the string and level both ways like that. So. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the end of that sea purling, make a little flap, and anchor it with like a tap con or something. And we're, all, we're going to come out about six foot, and we're only going to slope maybe about an inch from, from the top of that. So that's, that's about 6'4". So the roof out here will be 6'2 to 6'3", somewhere in there. So we're going to have four footers. We're going to string a, a 25 foot piece of seat purling from that end to this end. And then we're going to do a 25 foot mid span right here to support the metal. We could save it. Oh, I'll, I'll look at it. I'll look at it once we get our pieces going this way on there uh, and see if I think it needs it. I'd hate for a bunch of snow to land on here and cave it in. But that's what we're doing, getting the animals a little bit of shelter from the freezing rain because last year our cows looked pretty terrible in some of the winter weather. I know 99.9% .9 of cows just sit in it, but uh, we just have a few cows, so there's no reason we can't come up with something for them. Why did you have a 
Two by four behind you. Or the top of this. Or that extra piece of this tube. Lay back. I mean, Rylan, grab daddy that two by four. Harvey, you stink. How did we get so long?
probably this one and that one down there's got to have to have a cross brace. Or Jose in the ice chest in there.
All right, we got the roof on. The dog and the pigs already like it. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be so nice to have this winter. Got that done, but now I have to do this side, but I'm out of screw, so. That's gonna be a break for today. Tomorrow's supposed to rain, so I really wanted to get this done before the rain came in. And um, we might end up putting another footing in right here because I'm gonna have to put, I want paneling right here on this side because we usually get a south wind and that would be south right here going up north. So I definitely wanna put another panel, a couple panels here to block the wind there and then Eventually, we may do some gates and stuff, and then we're going to put a gutter down that end right there, coming into a, a water tank right here, so we can catch rainwater, but that'll do for now.